Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to my channel and look at my new computer build. We're starting out just now. Got the case and got everything up at the local micro center computers. So we're starting with the Lee and Lee, the Land Cool 2 mesh. And it's got a pretty nice hinged uh, access. So this is the power supply we went with. They had a better one there that was what 140 or something yeah. but it's all they had. Yeah this is good enough. I didn't want to spend this was what a hundred a hundred bucks so. which we could have I mean it's semi-modular we could have went a little cheaper but I mean it's our you know braided cables and stuff so it's good. I think it was good. I just didn't see the need to you yeah. know no, I wouldn't have spent a Pay so. up an extra 40 That is the motherboard that we're putting in right now. And how much was that? About 200 Was it 200 It should. It was about 180 with the Micro Center uh, CPU bundle. Oh, okay. So. All right, cool. Okay, that's what it looks like. I don't know if it looks like $200 worth or not, but... There's 200 bucks there. You think there is? I think so. Okay. It's There's your storage. A... Yeah. And it's cool. your only storage. 500. Got a little NVMe going right in. So how much was that and how much was a terabyte? Oh uh, gosh, this is probably 60, I think it was 60 bucks. Terabytes probably double that. Yeah, I think that's what he was saying. It, works, it was so. like 100 or something. It should be about 110, 20. Yeah, something like that. But 500, I mean, I've had my laptop forever. I've only used, what we looked, it was yeah, like 400. I only I think, used 500, so. so. I can always put a hard drive in for a lot in here, so you can have two of these. Oh, so you okay. Could do a there terabyte. you go. You could get a one terabyte, one of these, have one and yeah, a half terabytes. So that's so you easy can have enough them then. Back. All right, throw her in. And also, see right here, Daddy. These are hard drive cages, so you can okay. put real yeah, two hard more on this side. Yeah, too. you got SS, You can put them in there. You can put hard drives right here. Well, SSDs are here, and the actual hard drives can go there. There's, you can, you know, you could put yeah. 20 terabytes of storage on this thing, so. Alright, SSD. It is proper small, so that's some Samsung one. Yep, and I'll go right under the motherboard. Okay. In an M.2 slot. Show the people exactly what oh, you're... Oh, putting a standoff for the NVMe. So you measure, you take yeah. the one and measure it up. Yeah, I measure it. See uh, which ones to use. Yep, right in there. These are all just different sizes, mm -hmm. and then you're just going to use one. Looking good. Okay. Well, it's not. Doesn't I don't, get that hot anyway. I don't think I did on mine. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, was this? I think that's about right. Hang on, let's take a look at this and make sure it looks. Make sure the pins good. aren't bent. Yeah, I don't. That would be a nightmare. Well, My dad had to do it once. Unbend, unbend pins. My dad had to do that once. It was like a multi-hour yeah. ordeal. Ryzen 556X, the Wraith South Cooler. And throw it in there. There it is. And that was 300, which a lot of places you can't get it, or it's on eBay for 300. Yeah, well, it's on Best Buy and Amazon for 300, 330, 30, 350. Yeah, 10% so, uh, jack up. Yeah, not MSRP. Right. So now there should be, remember we, when we did there's it last time? There's a gold triangle. There an, yeah, right I think there. It's up there. It's not really gold, but no. that's what they say it is. It's supposed to be, a, oh yeah, here it is, right there. Now I think there might be a gold triangle on, on the processor. Yes. So when you're lining, when pin. you're putting it in the socket, there, see that little triangle right there? Right, that shows you. And there will be a triangle on the so processor. We really don't want to touch anything in the processor but the edges. Yep. We don't want to touch the front, we don't want to touch the pins reason you don't want to touch the uh, front oh yeah you don't want to get any oils or anything on if not we have to get a little rubbing alcohol out yeah. so i believe it goes it just like, like that, that. Yep. that looks about right mm -hmm. 
This is where it flush. fell in it. Didn't it? Yep. Now, the holes and then you just, what we're going to do is we're going to lock it down. That just latches it down. And there's just a little holder for that metal bar. Mm -hmm. That sucks it right mm -hmm. in. I don't see it. any fingerprints. Nope. Looks clean. Looks nice. So you see the thermal paste is already applied on it. Okay. The thermal paste fills the air gaps between the it gets smushed out and the top. He's just dropping the uh, the cooler mount. There's a little bracket that's being held on in the back, and um, this is used for other mounting types. I'm pretty sure the Wraith Stealth doesn't use those little things. So we're gonna take those off, and then we're gonna put the cooler on. And once you feel like it's sort of seating, I feel it moving. So pulling in, just yeah, try so. to do even, even pull all around. Your to touch. Your wheel mount. Huh? Like mounting the wheel back. Yep. Nope. Basically, what we're doing, nice even pressure all the way around. Okay, that's got the cooling fan on. Now yep. we're doing the RAM. Right here. 3200 megahertz CL16, uh, 32 gigs. We went with 3200 megahertz because the uh, 3600 megahertz was like 40 bucks more. And so. it wasn't that price. It was at uh, one no. time, I guess. I guess so, but it was like 140 bucks. So, yeah. so it's like we we're going back and forth, 16, 32. Yeah, and we decided. So it's like a seventy dollar difference. So. <laughs> When you're spending so much anyway. <laughs> no, I've never had G Skill. I always wanted G Skill, but I've had them before. Yeah, like They're them. pretty good. Okay, I had good reviews and everything. Yeah, I'll put the tab down. Oh, I did already. Mm -hmm. There's just the one side that Etsy flips. This yeah. side stays up. So you you flip one side down, and then when, yeah. by pressure, it just. Okay. Looks at Seats that so. And then it has a, you know that from when you install right. it, it has a notch so you can't install it wrong. Yeah, remember on yours, Ben? The one side didn't really snap before. Mm -hmm. This one lifted, but I didn't hear it snap. You could try to. I mean, they look. Pretty it looks all right. We'll know if, if Ram does it. If it's yeah, not right. seated right, you, you know, just won't see it. Just, It'll be like oh, 16. Yeah, and if both weren't seated right, mm -hmm. video card. Video card. I took the two slots off so we can install it. I'm just putting in a GTX 760. Yeah, it's just an old right card because you can't get a card right now. There you go. Want to get a picture? That, 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 CPU, CPU fan, three fans, power switch, power LED, plus and minus, power supply, I think it's good, so, yep, motherboard's on, see it? Okay. I guess we can then try it out. Looked like fire for a second. <laughs> Is it gonna? Tough. Hey. Hey, right. that's good. It did it. So we're good. Yep. So this was an updated motherboard. Perfect. It works. That's awesome. Everything's looking good. So of course guys like anything with a light. You gotta throw a light on and a guy will buy it. Doesn't matter what it is. So I thought those were pretty cool. Yes, I paid up for it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you.